Oh, welcome back to the family farm. My name is still Caleb. I am still your host and you still don't have anyone else that you get to follow around. Back from vacation. I am standing in my hog building. What you're going to notice is actually really clean right now. So we cleared all the pigs out of this the day after we got back from vacation and had a crew come in. They washed it out. Now we've got some mats and some heaters to hang because we got baby pigs coming in two days. We gotta be ready for them. So, I'm gonna get these heaters hung, gonna get these mats put down. What are the heaters for, you wanna know? Well, these baby pigs are, well, these baby pigs, when they come in, like it to be really warm. So right under the heaters, we're gonna keep it about 92 degrees. The rest of the room's gonna be about 82 degrees. Normally in the winter, that's kinda hard to do. It's kind of expensive. We use a lot of uh, LP to heat the building. However, it's supposed to be 90s next week. So I have a feeling these pigs are gonna be plenty warm. Anyway, no more talking. Let's get to it. Get this building set up. Got this side done. Before we leave the hog building, a couple things I want you to note. Look at how clean this is. So every time we load pigs out of here, we bring in a crew. We used to power wash ourselves, but it take me like four days. The next day I come in with my own power wash. I have a special disinfectant that is meant to kill viruses and bacteria that are harmful for pigs. Things like strep, uh, salmonella, E. coli. We want this to be as clean as possible for these baby pigs. Over here, what I've got is everything that is in my office, everything that we use in the hog building, boots, buckets, shovels, tools. And I bring it all out here so that I can spray disinfectant on it because I said, like I said, we want it clean. I gotta get this stuff picked up though because otherwise the pigs are gonna play with it, chew it up, and I won't have any of it left. What do I have going down in the basement? Well, this, this baseboard doesn't have any studs behind it. It's got concrete behind it, so I had to glue it up. So I have this contraption here that I have made in order to try to get it to hold up to the wall. It works okay. One of the things that we have decided, Ben and I, Ben's my carpenter, one of the carpenters. But one of the things that uh, he jokes with me is, what do you call a combination farmer and carpenter? Well, you call me a farpenter. That's right, a farpenter. Don't really know what I'm doing. I'm a better farmer than I am carpenter, but uh, I'm the right price for being a carpenter, so sometimes I do carpentry. What are we doing? Getting some pigs in the feed. Yes! We dropped Liam off at his first day of school for this year, and Sawyer and I are headed to... The shop, the new shop. What are we doing there? Uh, getting the feed. Yep, what are we gonna do with that feed? Dad went and picked up the pigs this morning because it was Liam's first day of school and I don't want to pick up pigs on that day because we're the family farm and if the family doesn't come before the farm then there will be no family and there will be no farm and then we'll all be sad. I think we're getting 21. Sorry, I think we're getting 21 pigs. 10,000. 10,000. Which is it? You think we're getting 10,000 pigs this morning? Yes. Dad doesn't have all the pigs quite off yet, so I think we'll get to help get some of those off. Okay, now you can shake it, Sawyer. 
Go bring some more. You can shake now. Problem already. So this is the pig's water. This is what they drink out of, and it's supposed to stop flowing when the water gets up to the top. But you can see the water is not stopping flowing; it's overflowing. Each of these bags that I carried in is 50 pounds. We need 40 pounds in each pen, so I have to pull 10 pounds out of each bag. Split four bags between five pens. These are the pig feeders. The pigs will eat out of this from day like three until they're done after day about 145. So they're going to spend about 145 days in here. They'll eat out of this feeder primarily, but get their water out of here. However, right off the bat, the pigs don't know how to eat out of the feeder, so that's why we have these black mats here. These black mats are something for them to lay on to stay warm. And we also put the pig feed on this because pigs like to feed on the ground where it's easy to get to. They don't have to fight for it. So we put it on here. That also teaches them where to poop and not to poop because no one wants to poop where their food is. But we don't want them to poop right here where it's warm. Weber. What's his name? Welber. Wilbur? Mm-hmm. Hey, Welber. Welber. So here is. Is Wilbur a boy or a girl? Wilbur and a girl. There you go. Wilbur the girl. One of the most stressful things that a pig will ever go through is transportation. Right after transportation, we want to get these pigs rehydrated is the number one thing. So we're going to put something in here called a blue light. It's essentially concentrated Gatorade with a lot of electrolytes in it that makes them really drink. If they like it, we're going to get them rehydrated. Before we do that, though, we have these filters for the water. And... Uh, after they've sat for a week with not water going through them because the building's been empty, they're gross. Look at that, all clean. Hose that sucks the solution out of the bucket through this hose into the medicator and then out of this medicator up these pipes through the filter and these pipes go up into the building. Pigs are in the hog building. Sawyer and I are going over to check out what the electricians are doing. They're hooking up Dad's generator today. I think they should fire it today and make sure everything works, which will be exciting. So basically, what we're doing, we got this old pole here that was rotted, and they're moving everything over to the new pole so that we can not have a rotted pole. Come on, Daddy. So this is the grain loop that we've plugged three times now. Three times. And we don't want to do that again, so Grant's here, and he's going to put a sensor on for us so that it either buzzes and light goes off or it just shuts down completely when it gets up to a certain level on this overhead bin up here. You wanna go find Noah? Noah's there. Probably over on the other side. We don't wanna go in because it's too dusty. So you can see in here what we couldn't see in the other bin because it's not safe to get in there 
without a mask on. And you see we've got these holes in the floor. So we pull out of the center sump. After it gets all the way down to the middle where it quits flowing, we then pull out of the side sumps on one side until the corn gets down far enough to where we can turn this sweep auger on. So this is called a sweep auger. Yeah, so this is the sweep auger right here. The sweep auger spins and pulls the corn to that center sump. So then we don't have to sweep or scoop the whole bin. This sweep auger spins around the bin, pulls the corn in, and then we come back with either a broom or a leaf blower, blow the extra corn in the middle, and it's cleaned out just like that. Once the corn comes out of those sumps, it goes through this tube here, which goes under each bin. See, this tube goes under this from bin number four, under bin number three, down under bin numbers two and one. So that corn comes all the way from down there, coming out of bin five, down under four, three, two, and one, comes here, under the unload, goes up the tower, and then once it's gone up the tower, it goes around the elbow, and into this overhead bin. Eventually, we can pull the semi under here and we can dump the corn into the semi really quick. Hey, you see Tabby and Lucy? Yeah. We've got the bean head here, and this bean head broke last fall. We just haven't gotten it fixed. The main, it's called an A-frame or something on the underside broke. We gotta get the uh, tarp off, get this pulled out, get it hauled up to the shop so that they can get it fixed. It's a little bit out of our league. head out. Dad is headed up with that to get it fixed. Hey baby! So that's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe so that you get all of our awesome content. We don't want you to miss any of it. One thing that I do want to address is some of you who are our regular watchers and you're going to notice that the videos have slowed down a little bit. Part of the reason is because we're pushing so hard to get this house done and when I'm doing that I just don't have the capacity to edit quite as often. The editing process takes a long time. Just that if I don't devote myself to the things that I need to here, you guys aren't gonna have the family farm anymore. You're just gonna have the farm. And minus my family, I'm not really much good. So that's what's going on. Please be patient with me. We're gonna ramp up the videos sometime.